Occasionally, I've been in situations where pine gum was relatively easy to find, but the natural plant fibers I needed to make a, a fire starter were either extremely scarce or they were soaking wet. In these cases, I've been able to use a small piece of my clothing or a square of tissue paper combined with some pine gum to make a good fire starter. The materials I've chosen for this demonstration are typically available to a person hiking in the woods. They include toilet paper, gauze pads from a first aid kit, threads from a cotton t-shirt or from a bandana or blue jeans. Each of these materials is made from plant fibers, tree pulp in the case of toilet paper and cotton fibers for the rest. The fabrics need to be torn and pulled apart into their individual threads before mixing them with the pine gum. This is really important. The more fibers and the thinner the fibers the better. It's also essential that the fibers be dry, of course, before mixing them with pine gum. The process for making and lighting fire starters using fibers from these fabric or paper products is the same as for the raw plant fibers shown in my previous videos. Add a little pine gum, press it into the fiber material, then pull and shred until everything is mixed together well. Once you've formed it into a ball and you're ready to light it, fluff it up again, make sure there's plenty of air space between the fibers. Set it down, put your striker up close, and uh, start your fire. Here I am repeating the process, mixing pine gum with uh, threads from a cotton bandana. Here I have pine gum mixed with the thread from a cotton t-shirt on the bottom. And then I'll do pine gum mixed with threads from denim jeans. And then last will be pine gum mixed with cotton gauze. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you find the information helpful. There's now a fourth video in my series on pine gum fire starters to demonstrate the use of fibers that don't come from plants. I hope you'll check it out.